uh, my name is Kim Tsui. I'm a surgeon investigator um, at Sinai Health System in Toronto, part of uh, the Department of Surgery um, at the University of Toronto. And so um, what that really means is I spend part of my time working as an orthopedic oncology surgeon specializing in sarcoma and the rest of my time doing uh, basic science in a, in a laboratory here at the Lunenfeld Center, trying to address some of the problems or address some of the clinical problems that we encounter uh, sort of in our daily practice and trying to improve outcomes for our patients. Sarcomas are a really rare kind of cancer. So if you add them all up, um, they kind of form less than 1% of all cancer diagnoses in Canada each year. So it's a very unique patient population in that uh, the Sinai Health Center combined with the Princess Margaret Cancer Center, we are the largest center in Canada treating these patients. And they have very kind of a unique um, sort of, you know, clinical course. And then because of that, um, have unique clinical problems that because it's such an orphan disease, it's, you know, we really feel a great responsibility here to try and address. And sort of one particular problem that faces this patient population is that even though we're fairly effective at controlling the primary tumors, what we really struggle to, to manage is when these patients develop disease elsewhere in the body and that most commonly occurs in the lung. And that happens kind of in about 40 to 50% of patients. And when that happens, we really just don't have any good approaches or any good strategies to effectively treat these patients. And so that's really what the focus is of my and our labs uh, work is right now is trying to better understand the process of metastases, particularly how it affects the lung, and to try to develop unique approaches and solutions for this. So, um, you know, we really have a very unique opportunity here to be able to start addressing these problems because we've uh, maintained a, um, uh, a tumor bank for many years. We have a, you know, unique access to these tissues, which a lot of other labs in the world don't have. Um, so we really can address these, these problems in these patients. So I think this is a kind of a clinical situation that really hasn't been looked into in great detail before, um, and we feel a great responsibility to do so. So I think the findings that we will kind of discover through this work will really help um, not only our patients, but also advance the field of uh, soft tissue sarcoma. First of all, I'm so honored to get this. Like, I mean, the legacy of the Banting Foundation is incredible, and just to be included within it is such a great honor. Um, and so, in starting, you know, a career as a, as a surgeon investigator is, is challenging to be good at both and to have the resources to be successful, uh, particularly in the research realm, is, um, is you know, I'm really. I feel very fortunate to have this, this award. So um, really what's gonna help, especially in the area of COVID, getting research off the ground has certainly been challenging the last year since we really started tackling this problem. So um, it's really helping myself and, um, and our students sort of start collecting preliminary data and analyzing the tissue that we do have to start kind of creating a platform that we can really build upon for the future. I would say that I think this is a very, you know, worthwhile cause as, you know, we saw with the, you know, the Banting legacy to invest in early career researchers because, you know, we often come in with new ideas and a lot of motivation and time and commitment to addressing these problems. So investing in people who are at the beginning with, you know, a lot of enthusiasm, I think is a very worthwhile endeavor and hopefully has a large, will pay large dividends for many decades to come. So we have, you know, a lot, a lot to give and a lot of time to give it.